Just because a project is small doesn't mean that it lacks features or a fun design. Let me show you what I mean. Despite measuring only 10 by 15 inches, this little project features 17 pieces and some significant machining. It's a fun project and I think it looks great. To get started making this trivet, I cut enough material to make six pieces three quarters of an inch thick, two and one eighth inches wide and 11 inches long. Then I glued them together using Tight Bond 3 glue. I use cherry for these end pieces because it looks great and I've got a good supply of it laying around our shop. Once the glue had cured, I trimmed these end blocks down to two inches. And now I'm gonna form a cut that will eventually become the handle on the trivets. I'm using a bowl bit to make this cut, and it's a pretty significant slice that I'll be making, hence the featherboard. Safety first. Form the quarter inch wide by three eighths inch deep dados. I used a dado blade set on my table saw. As the end pieces are 10 inches long, I set the fence to five inches and plowed the first notch. Then I moved the fence 5 eighths of an inch narrower and made the next two cuts, and so on down the line. Making the slats comes next. Now, I chose Wenge for the slats because I think it just looks great with cherry. But just as with the end pieces, choosing the species is up to you. Because I'm cutting very narrow slats, I want to focus just on pushing that through the saw. So I'm using this feather board to keep my stock tight to the fence. And then I'll just move it over for the next one. Moving these mag switch feather boards is really easy. The trickiest cuts on this project are forming the ends into nicely curved three quarter inch thick shapes. I found the use of paper templates tacked glued to the top of the pieces helped me make the cuts much more accurately. As you can see, the outside curve exposes the handle very nicely. Sanding the curved end smooth is the next step, and then we'll be gluing the slats in place. I used a 10 and a half inch by 11 inch piece of plywood to keep the ends square to one another. A little glue and a heavy weight did the job. Then onto the bandsaw to trim the ends, and you guessed it, back to the sander. So that's it, a pretty little trivet, ready to go. I hope you found this video interesting and maybe useful. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Keep on making sawdust.